everybody. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to make my dragonfly necklace. It's currently published in Bellomore Magazine, spring of 2024 edition. Let's get started. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me today, and thank you for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate it. It helps me a lot. Today, I'm going to show you how to make my dragonfly watermelon tourmaline gemstone necklace. It's currently published in Bellamore Magazine, spring of 2024. I have this kit available in my store as well as the finished necklace. So let's get started. The first thing you'll wanna do is wire wrap 26 four millimeter fauceted round water tourmaline stones onto bronze or brass ball head pins. I'm using 24 gauge ball head pins and I'll show you really quick how I wire wrap on these. So I add the stone use my round nose pliers and I'm going to take my wire and bend it at an angle over my round nose pliers and rotate my round nose pliers up and over the stone and form a loop here with my round nose pliers. I'm going to keep going around a few more loops around and center and go ahead and cut off my excess wire and pinch close. And you'll want to have 26 of these guys to form your tassel. Once you've wire wrapped your 26 stones, the next thing we're going to do is attach it to the chain. So I'm taking two inches of open link chain. You want an open link so you can open and close these with the stones in between. And you want to have at least three millimeter in size so you have space to have the wire wrapped wires fit through as well as your cable length. So I'm going to go ahead and cut two inches of wire. And I'm going to open up this link and then we're going to attach it to an eye pin and this will be the top part of our tassel. I'm going to close this and I'm grabbing a large spacer bead and I'm going to insert the eye pin through all of the bead caps. I have a couple different decorative bead caps on the top of this to just create more of a decoration on the top. Next, you want to wire up a loop on the top, and this will be your loop that will connect your necklace and everything uh, to the top here of your tassel. So again, I'm just going to wire up a loop like so and go around a couple of times over the top of the bead caps, and then I'll cut off my excess wire and close. Okay, so this will be the top part of our tassel. So now we have our chain, and this is what we'll be working with. And when I work with chain like this, you want to open the link like so and pop the link off. And then I'm going to add a stone on one side, put my previous link back on and then add another stone. And the reason why I'm doing this is so I have a stone on each side of the chain as it's draping down. So it's more of a balanced look with stones going down and up the same pattern like this. Um, here's a close up of it. That way it gives more of a balanced look and as a tassel you want it to drape down like so. You don't want to have your beads bunched up on one side and the other side empty or the, it might lay funny and you just want it to drape nice and long like this. So in order to do that, you want to have stones on each side of the chain. So in order to do that again, you just open your link like so and add a stone here, reattach your link again, add another stone and then close the link. And then that will give you stone on each side. Next, you want to take an eight millimeter filigree bead cap and an eight millimeter watermelon tourmaline stone and wire wrap it on a head pin. And you will need two of these and these will connect to the necklace on the top of the tassel. One of these will connect to the dragonfly pendant and the other one will just connect to the top of the tassel with the heavy gauge six millimeter jump ring. So I have one finished. And you wanna make sure again that your loops are facing the same direction. And I'm gonna grab the next filigree bead cap and eight millimeter stone. And wire up a loop on top of this. And make sure they're facing the same direction. And then cut off the excess wire. 
and pinch that closed. And now these are ready to be attached to the necklace. Next, you want to take your dragonfly pendant and we're going to take our round nose pliers and the tail and you're going to round it up to form a loop. And then I'm going to attach a jump ring through here. And this will form a connector. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take two eight millimeter watermelon tourmaline stones and add two filigree bead caps wire up them close and add a jump ring. I'm also using heavy gauge jump rings. These are six millimeter in size. Once I have these two beads formed, I'm going to take my dragonfly here and I'm going to attach one of them to the top like so. So this will be one side of my necklace and I'm gonna have him lay down like this. And this will go on this side. So I'm going to bring my tassel over with another jump ring. And I'm going to connect all three pieces together like so. So I have a jump ring at the top of my tassel with a jump ring on the first stone on the left and on the right. Like so. So here you have your dragonfly pendant connected your stone connected and your tassel. And this is going to be the main base of your necklace right here. And the next part we're going to do is we're going to grab our eye pins and we're going to wire up five millimeter water tourmaline stone to form a chain. So this way you have a loop on each end and you're just going to connect the loops together to form a chain. And if you don't want to do it like this, you can add a smaller jump ring in between to add space between each stone. But um, we're going to form chain. So the first thing I'm going to do is get out my five millimeter faceted round watermelon tourmaline stone and grab my eye pin and start wire wrapping. Now, I know there's a tool that can help you do this a little bit faster. I don't have one of those, but if you have one, that might help. If you don't, you're just going to do it like me, which is I form a loop, cut off my excess wire, and close my loop. And you want to make sure your loops are facing the same direction. That way your necklace will fall evenly on the chain. And then grab another one. And you can keep doing this for as long as you want. I have about 25 stones. Um, on one side, I have to count and double check, but uh, I've made it a couple different lengths. And so the majority of the length of the necklace will be by chain. So I'm using a different type of chain for the necklace portion. And then I use a lobster clasp as a clasp for it. So for this part, you can do as many stones on you want as you want on each side. But for this one, I'll do 25 on one, and then I'll do um, probably 15 on the other, so that way it's nice and balanced. So what we're gonna do with the chain is, you want to have chain on one side connected to the top of the dragonfly like so, and then you'll have chain for the other side like so. And you wanna have both sides evenly, um, distributed with stones in this pattern on each side and then have them meet in the middle and then have the necklace finished off with your chain and your lobster clasp. So you wanna have more chain created for the one side and less for the other one. So I'm going to keep making some more chain here and then we'll connect them together and create our necklace. And how I form the chain together is I wire wrap a loop on one end, cut it down a little bit. I'm going to bring this in a little bit with my round nose pliers, but I'm going to leave a small gap so I can slide my previous chain onto my loop and then close the loop down like so. Make sure they're facing the same direction. And then I have another stone chat attached. And again, you just keep doing this until you found that you have the length that you would like for your stone. And grab another one and just keep going for a little while. So I'm going to keep working on this and I'll be right back. 
So I finished the necklace and I finished beading chain on each side. On the right side, I have 13 counts of five millimeter watermelon tourmaline stones chain linked together and attached to the top of the dragonfly pendant with a heavy gauge six millimeter jump ring. And this is the right side of the necklace. And the left side of the necklace, I have 15 stones wire wrapped together and five millimeter watermelon tourmaline here chain link together. So 15 stones on the left side connected to the top of the eight millimeter watermelon tourmaline stone. And on the right side, I have 13 stones connected to the dragonfly, which is then connected to the eight millimeter watermelon tourmaline stone, which are then connected to the top of the tulip bead with your tassels. So this is a 10 inch necklace length right here. So the remaining length is up to you for how long you want your necklace to be. So for example, if you want a 25 inch necklace, you would add 15 inches of chain to, to complete the length of your necklace. So at this point, I just bring this part over to the side and measure how much chain you want. So I'm gonna make this a 24 inch necklace. So I'm going to count out 14 inches of chain and then clip my chain and then attach it to the remainder. So I'm gonna take the top of my beaded chain here and my chain links and attach it to the top with another six millimeter jump ring. Now, this is long enough where you can put it over your head or you can cut your chain in the center and add a lobster clasp. I'll be doing that because it's always good to have a clasp just in case. My tools up to open this up a little bit more and attach the top stone here to this like so. And the nice thing about this design is you can control how long you want your necklace. Um, you can have it longer or shorter. And that's the fun thing about this design is you have a little bit more flexibility with how long you want to make it. And I'm gonna add two more jump rings to the top of my chain and my clasp. And then we are finished. And thank you so much for hanging out with me today and watching my video. And for liking, I really appreciate it. And I like it even more for you to subscribe. Ha uh ha. -huh. All right, there we go. And add this one. And then we are finished. And you've made a beautiful watermelon tourmaline dragonfly necklace. Yeah, you don't need to pinch that one together a little bit more. There we go. Okay. And here you go, you have your finished necklace. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and TikTok. And as always, AndreaBeaverDesigns.com. This kit is available for sale in my shop. I'd love it if you would pick it up. And if you just like the necklace, it's also available completed in my store as well. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at AndreaBeaverDesigns at gmail.com. Or you can message me on one of my social media accounts. And thank you so much. Have a great day.